And we are today filming Dr. Timo Wolf and Mrs. Abel, who are helping us to dress and undress Dr. Wolf for treating people of him. So now he's going into his suit. You can see he's wearing a walkie-talkie, his mouthpiece, two layers, and with a zip and some sticky material. Now you can see he's putting on some extra white, large Wellington boots. He's wearing this special gloves, thicker material, as you can see, some additional gloves. That's a very important step now, for later on for undressing him. There will be three black tapes. It's actually important that they are not circular, because this might cut off um, the circulation. Because it's a positive pressure suit, it's, um, it's okay to just have them lengthwise. Once inside the unit, we treat the, um, the gloves as bare naked skin. So whenever touching the patient, um, we put in an additional pair of latex gloves. Um, um, just to have extra protection. Now, Dr. Wolf is wearing a, a special belt. This is the pressure unit. And what you can see at the back, there are two special filters, which will be removed after each use. That is now the special helmet. And now the interesting thing is, as you can see, this helmet has two layers, an inner layer and an external layer. Now, this Abel had, has connected the helmet to this pressure unit, so you have now circulation in the helmet. The inner layer is being Good. adjusted and put under the orange suit. So now the suit is being zipped up and the second layer of the suit is also being closed. That's an, another important step now where the helmet is being also connected to the belt that there's no chance that the second layer moving and then a potential risk of infection. Okay, so now he's ready to go to work. The healthcare worker is leaving the room and then we have here the decontamination unit and the second person is now starting the process. So the first thing, the mouthpiece is being wiped and decontaminated, then with a special disinfectant it's now being decontaminated. You see the helmet, the chest area, arms, and also interesting under the helmet part. So now he has to turn around and again the whole process has been done at the back. The foot Okay. It's been decontaminated, as you can see. Again, under the second layer of the helmet. Now again, the helmet part has been decontaminated. And now, it's a very important part, that the outer layer of the helmet and also the suit. So now the belt is being taken off, which is connected to the helmet. This area has been physically decontaminated. So now the healthcare professional can sit down and this is the time it takes now the contamination process. 
So now this is an important crucial part. The pressure unit's been switched off, you can see here. So now there's no pressure unit any, anymore. So now the second thing is the suit. The outer layer has been carefully been opened. And also the zip right at the top of the neck area. And now the elastic band around the neck has been opened. Okay, now this is a very crucial step. As you can see, the healthcare professional is bending over and the second helper is now slowly pulling the helmet over the top, over the head, in a non-touch technique. And the helmet's been uh, put into a special area for decontamination. So now the next step, as you can see, is the suit has been cut from the back, open, and also the second leg from the back and cut open. So now he turns around, has to bend over again, and now you can see the non-touch technique and which is pulling it and you can see one glove, both blue gloves, the cell tapes are gone. So it has been undressed without being touched or being in contact with Ebola. The third step is to take off the welling boots and disinfection into the hands. And there we are.